just got out of the shower so you get fresh clean smelling sandy <laughs> oh well you guys <clears throat> it's been interesting <laughs> and it's gonna continue to be interesting um i went for my procedure yesterday <clears throat> and for those of you that are new that don't know um I'm going to be going in for surgery for a hiatal hernia, uh, which apparently is very large now. Um, so they needed to get a test done, a special test done, <clears throat> where they put a tube down my throat that has sensors on it, and it goes right down into my stomach. And it tells them how much the sphincters are working, how the... Um, swallowing works and all that kind of stuff so that it can tell them what kind what type of surgery they need to do <clears throat> so my throat's a little sore today uh, it was horrible it I'm traumatized I'm absolutely traumatized from this test um, <clears throat> I don't know how many of you have had this test and how well you did let me know in the comments down below because my God, I, I didn't think I was going to get through it. <clears throat> I really didn't. <clears throat> uh, I was throwing up all over the place and it was just, I could not get control of my gag reflex while the tube was in. If I had, if I was able to go, <sighs> I was okay. But the minute that I swallowed, my gag reflex started. <clears throat> so um, they put some freezing in my nose and in my throat and it did nothing. So once I started to try and relax, I had to try and focus. She was, The nurse was so wonderful. She had so much patience. <clears throat> I'm sure you would have to have patience with this test because it it's brutal. I now understand why the doctor said that a lot of people can't do this test because they freak out. They just, they can't deal with, with the test. Uh, my doctor's going to be very proud of me because I actually finished it. <laughs> so, but it took a lot of time. <clears throat> Excuse me. It, um, when she put the, the tube down, I was okay. It's when you know how I was, I've always been having this problem right here. It feels like somebody's pushing and <clears throat> it just feels like my throat was closing before, you know. And so I, the, the um, one doctor specialist told me to start taking the calm. Um, and I'll put the picture here again. <clears throat> you can get this in your health food store. It's magnesium. Um, this stuff helped tremendously I take it at night uh, before I go to bed because it helps you sleep like a rock um, and <clears throat> it stopped the the stuff going on in my throat and she said that basically what it is is it's anxiety when I'm stressed out then my throat goes oh, and I had no idea that was even a thing <clears throat> but I was testing the theory and Yesterday, my throat was like, and I took the calm the day be the night before, and um, driving all the way down to Victoria, I was just like, like oh my god, it was awful, <clears throat> and so I was already anxiety ridden. So when she put the the tube in, I was I was okay, but the minute I swallowed, this part right here just went. <clears throat> And I just started throwing up and throwing up and throwing up. <clears throat> and so um, she had some spa music going. She had the lights down. She was very calm. Her voice was very soothing. And on the computer screen, she had a picture of 
you know, like spa stuff, you know, like the, the heat, heated rocks and the candles and all that kind of stuff. And I had to zoom in and focus on one of the flames of the candle and try and do breathing and relax. And finally, <clears throat> I got to the point where I wasn't throwing up and I had to really, really focus hard. Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> and then finally, I relaxed enough and we could start the test then <laughs> disaster struck because she had apple juice and water and she had a big syringe like without a needle <clears throat> and she says okay I'm gonna put some of that in your mouth and then you're gonna swallow and then you don't swallow again what's the first thing that you do when somebody says not to do something you do it right so she put some in my mouth she said okay swallow don't swallow don't swallow don't swallow swallowed <laughs> I was like <"Arr." laughs> so <clears throat> then I started gagging so she had to start again and again and again <laughs> and it just went on and on the test was supposed to take 15 to 20 minutes. I'm sure I was in there for almost an hour. <clears throat> it was it was awful because I just could not not swallow because there's the, the tubes in your throat and it thinks that you need to swallow it, right? So um so she switched up what she was doing and she put it in a, a cup with a straw and gave me control over it. So um so yeah, so then I would have to take, she would say, okay, sip, sip, swallow. So I'd sip and swallow and then I'd focus on the candle and just breathe and breathe and breathe. And <clears throat> she goes, okay, you're doing good. You're doing good. And then every once in a while I would end up slipping up and swallowing and then she'd have to start that part over again. We don't have to start the whole thing over again, just that one part. So <clears throat> I did that a couple of times and so it was like 10 times I had to do that uh, she ended up having to do it 12 or 13 times instead um, <clears throat> so that was harsh and then taking the tube out God, I thought that thing was going on forever it was like and she was coming she was pulling it out fast and then it was just like what <clears throat> <laughs> it's like all that water and apple juice started coming up and I was just like, oh, for God's sakes. She says, okay, we're done. But the, the very last part of the test, I had to sip and swallow five times really fast. So it's sip, swallow, sip, swallow, sip, swallow, sip, swallow. And I was just like, oh my God, <laughs> like it was hard. So when, when I finished and I felt like I was going to be puking it up, she, she was pulling out the she says, deep breath and out. And then she just, and then it just all came up with it. And I was like, oh, I'm so glad that was over. Um, she, I, I went in the car, in the van and I, I almost started to cry. I had to sit in the van for about 10 minutes. George was sitting, sitting there trying to calm me down because I was just a basket case. Um, afterwards, I, it was crazy. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm just glad it's over and done with now I'm on a wait list for the surgery. So I don't know when that's going to come up. It could come up tomorrow. It could come up next year. I don't know. Um, but I do know that if they call me and say, we have it, we have it for, you know, a space open for tomorrow, I have to drop everything and go. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, yeah, so that was that, um, I ended up because we were in Victoria already. I wanted to go to a place called Matthew's, um, store fixings and go pick up some grid wall for the store, uh, and some other stuff. There's these, um, hooks, they call waterfall hooks and they sit like this and they've got little bumps on them and that's what you hang your clothes on. I got some of those. I got some purse hooks. Um, I got some other little things. And so today 
uh, my niece's boyfriend is going to come. He knows how to do all this stuff, thank God. Uh, he's going to come and help me put the grid walls up. So, yes, my store is re getting rearranged again today. And it's um, going to look totally different, hopefully, when it's done. And it's hopefully going to be more inviting for people because I'm finding that people are going around the outside of the store now and um, <clears throat> looking at all the stuff on the outside and not coming in. So hopefully this will open it up even more and yeah, I'll have more room for bringing in stuff as well. So yeah, so that's that. Um, <clears throat> what else? Oh, uh, Angela has landed. I told you guys, Angela has landed in, um, Nova Scotia now and she did her first live in her new house. Oh my God. Did you guys see that? I, I was, um, at, I was busy. I couldn't go to her live, but, uh, I did watch the replay and um she she looks tired but she looks so happy uh I'll, her link is always down below if you want to go and check her out i suggest you do because she's awesome um so she's just got a lot going on a lot going on and um <clears throat> i wish i was there to help her <laughs> but i can't <laughs> <laughs> she's she's like way on the other side of Canada now <laughs> it's like geez but um yeah so that's fun I miss our conversations but I know that it's going to take her quite a bit of time to redo her house redo her trailer get her shop going um so I'm just kind of stepping back and not bugging her too much because I know that she's stressed out and I know that she needs to get this stuff done and I don't want to be at her all the time, you know, saying, how are you? Are you okay? What's happening? <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like I, I figure she'll give me little updates when she can. And every once in a while, I just send her a good morning or, a you know, just to let her know that I'm here and I'm thinking about her. Um, but I don't want to be up in her face. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> what else? Uh. Oh, I know there was some stuff I wanted to talk to you about, and I can't. Oh, it. Oh, I didn't bring it in. <laughs> Hang on. So I was trying to think of things to put in the shop, and <laughs> I came across a tutorial. I'll excuse me. I'll leave that link down below as well. <sighs> These I left my my um, amigurumi eyes at the shop, so I had to do with whatever I had here. <sighs> <laughs> Isn't this adorable? <laughs> um, when I did this, I thought, okay, I'm going to do different colored um, legs, like two different colored legs. I, what I didn't realize when I was doing the pattern is that this part, oops, this part is only like the tip of the leg and that the rest of the leg is going to be a different color. I didn't realize that. So I, I, act, <laughs> so I put this one in the middle and well, it, does it not look like a penis? <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> and this one looks like a nipple, you know, like, oh, I tell you, I, <laughs> it's the first time I made it. So I'm just going to keep this one for myself <laughs> because, but look at, I had to show you guys, oh, let me turn the light on. I had to show you guys these eyes. Aren't those cool? It picks up like all the colors. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that that was not the best choice. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to end up doing them solid colors from now on. <laughs> but it's cute. I just I'm like, okay. <laughs> 
Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so I thought he was adorable. And uh, I wanted to have eyelashes on. I've got the, I sent away for these um, little pieces that you can get that go on the back of the, the eye, on the post. And then it has the, the eyelashes on it. I haven't tried them yet, <clears throat> but, and I don't know if they would fit on these eyes. Cause I think these are 30 millimeters. I'm not sure 20 or 30. Um, so yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to just leave it right there, <laughs> right on my desk. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to try another one. It, it, it's a, a no sew pattern. But the decreasing and everything is, um, it's not confusing and it's not hard, but you have to really listen to her and to know what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, <clears throat> so it's definitely not a beginner pattern. So yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Um, that's something that I can work on at work that, you know, do at work and, uh, you know, pass the time. So, so I decided that I'm going to be putting some bigger amigurumis <clears throat> in my shop to kind of draw people in. Um, it's just a matter of finding the time to do this. That's the hard part. Um, oh, that's what I was going to talk about. Jeanette, Miss Hootie Hooten and Crafts. I her links down below as well. Holy cow! She just put out a video. Sorry, I'm trying to distracting. Um, she put out a video where she did these cows. Oh wow! I I was shook. Like I was just like, you got to be kidding me. Um, they are, like, she does all this stuff out of her head from scratch. I, I don't understand how she does it. Like, I, they're magnificent. They really are. Um, she goes over and above. She says she goes over the top. She goes over and above, um, on her amigurumis because she's got a cricket machine. So she can do little things that, um most of us can't uh but she she really puts a lot of thought and love into these amigurumis i am hoping that she does a pattern for these or a tutorial for these little cows because they are adorable right she's she's gone um done the <coughs> hey no <clears throat> she's done the um the fruit line basically like she's got a cherry cow a strawberry cow a grape cow you know a lemon cow you know stuff like that and it's like the grape cow I want that grape cow I just it's adorable she puts like on the top of their heads where their their horns and everything are she puts like cherries or grapes or what it like oh good god they're adorable I don't know if I would be able to even do a pattern like that because it's very e extensive um but i would sure try i would do a big one <laughs> um <clears throat> so right now i i sent her a picture of something that i'm hoping that she can recreate because um i love the idea of it but there's some things that I I would want changed um, because I don't think it quite looks right. So I want to see what she comes up with because oh wow, it's cute. It's it's cute. Uh, <clears throat> so I didn't want to buy that pattern until she could come up with a different pattern that I, you know, I'm sure I'm positive that she's going to come out with an adorable pattern for it. Um, anyway, so I'm, I'm just waiting with bated breath on that. <laughs> <clears throat> so anyways, I got to get to work. 
So I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Thank you guys so much for all the well wishes for our anniversary and my birthday and Mother's Day. Um, it was so nice to see all of your comments. Uh, I love getting your comments. I love reading your comments. I don't always um, answer, like, uh, reply to all of them, but I, I give every one of them a heart to say that, yes, I've seen it. Yes, I've read it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I gotta do something about my throat. <laughs> okay, so I love you. I love you. I love you. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.